on my way to the airport, headed to Nicaragua. PC, Lori, Hi. London. Yeah. Getting ready to jump on a, uh, a five or six hour flight, I think, and uh, we'll be in Managua later tonight. Now, when we go to uh, Cristo Rey on Monday, you'll we'll be going past a huge garbage dump. People are not living in the garbage dump like they were in La Chiraca, but you'll see people out there working and, and sure. kids and stuff. It's just exciting um, to see how our mission trips can be play a big part of again more transformation and more just Absolutely. awareness of you know getting outside themselves and seeing something. Lot of a need and, and giving themselves. I think it's passion fruit. It's really tart. I tried it earlier. Right. Not sure what that is. That's dragon fruit. I think the juice is called dragon fruit. This is amazing. Oye, yeah, the day today of Christ. She's telling me about the school. The school is Monday to Friday. This is a um, small place where they, uh, you know, the store, because most of the kids are, they don't pay when they come to school here. And it's, it runs all year round. The kids that come to school here are from the, the dump? No. Okay. I see that people carrying plastic, I think, like, they're doing that because they don't have a vision for anything more than that. Yeah, that's all they You know what I mean? That's the biggest thing they can get their mind around is collecting plastic. So I just wonder, like, maybe City Cam is the answer, like, coming in and doing, bringing livelihood or something. All right, man, let's see there. You know what I mean? 
Baker Rally if we took one community and did it well. I think we've got to help change the mentality before we like just come down here and put a band-aid on it. Like, I don't think that's lasting effects, and I don't know if I want to start my life like that. I think we can bring teams over and build, and that might be where they're at, and that's phenomenal, and that's awesome. But there's this second layer that I think can we can help people see past their poverty. Yeah. You know, and I think of like my dad. My parents grew up like that. And then, you know, they took steps above, steps above, and then, you know, he had a vision for himself. He's seen something bigger. Comes to America with 35 borrowed dollars, you know what I mean? When he dies, he doesn't owe anybody anything. He leaves a house that's paid for, everything good. He came to this, you know what I mean? He came not to this country, but to America. He he lived like that and he had a better vision for his family, you know? So you can't nobody can tell me that people can't change, because they can change. There's just I feel like there's, when we go in those areas, not in like areas that we're in here now, but like there's apathy. And I think that is like one big thing. They feel no hope. You are oxygen on a late night drive. To clear my hand when hope has passed me by. You are gravity when I'm upside down. You help me find my way back to the ground. And this is why you're everything. Here's our transportation for today. Billy, first one in the, the bus. What kind of truck is this? Land Cruiser, nice. Now I definitely feel like I'm in Jurassic Park. Alright, so we're at a uh, place called El Faro. It's a church, a school, a feeding center for all the kids uh, up through about fifth grade that live outside the dump. One of the things that they'd like to do is kind of beautify it, make it a place that kids want to come, maybe put a playground in here. It's really not much, um, but I'm sure it's a uh, Desperately need it. <laughs> so this is a five acre farm that El Faro purchased uh, a few years ago and they used the profits from the fruits and vegetables being grown on it to support the work that they're doing in the uh, the village or uh, the town of Cristo Rey. Alright so it's uh, 4 a.m. we're at the bus stop in uh, Managua getting ready to hop on a bus to uh, Choloteca, Honduras. Apparently there's only one bus out of this place a day. Um, so in about four and a half hours from now, we'll be uh, meeting up with the rest of the crew. The world is broken, you will always...